Hey there, everybody. Um, this is going to be a, a little short little uh, tidbit of information here about how to uh, use um, the various uh, different hidden features in Apple's QuickTime Player. If you have a Mac, uh, you can do this. Actually, I think um, some of the stuff I'll show you will work on a PC as well. But uh, I'm going to show you the difference between standard QuickTime Player, which you can see has this kind of black icon here, and QuickTime Player 7, which has this kind of more blue icon. And so, the uh, the thing to, to note is that um, the QuickTime Player that ships with your Mac, that's built in, has a neat feature, which I'm using right at this moment, uh, which is called a screen recording. Uh, you can also uh, do an audio recording or whatever, but basically if you have a mic, mic plugged in, uh, it'll record your, the entire screen, and it's how I do all my tutorial movies. All right, so that's one thing that uh, it can do. Uh, but for everything else, I use this uh, QuickTime Player uh, 7 Pro. If you've got a uh, Final Cut or something like that, you might have it already. Go into your uh, Applications folder and under Utilities. You might have QuickTime uh, Player 7 in here in, in your Utilities folder. Uh, and so if you have that, you won't need to purchase it. Otherwise, go to the uh, Apple Store and uh, you can you can see it's a $29.99 and uh, it's for um, I believe there's a Mac and a Windows version and because uh, I do have the Windows version out there so uh, why would you want to get this if the standard QuickTime player is free and comes bundled and can do the screen recording well, there's a few things with this that you can't really do with the other one and the one that's most um, usable for me and for 3D artists is that you can go in here and you can go to open image sequence I'm gonna go to my render folder here I did a sequence here uh, for a nursing program which is this uh, animation on how to properly wash your hands okay because everybody knows how it needs to know how to you know wash their hands and it's not comp 100% complete but basically animation shows all this stuff so this was just uh, a sequence of images you can see here in my image uh, folder here, renders folder. And um, so, you know, you want to render always to a sequence of images instead of to like an AVI or a QuickTime file because if the uh, 3D program crashes in the middle of that, you'll lose everything you had. So the absolute easiest way to compile a sequence of images into an actual movie file that you'd want to present to someone would be using this... Uh, this thing, this feature here, open image sequence. And once you've opened the image sequence, you can go ahead and you can export to a, a variety of different formats from here. You can export right to like an iPhone format, MPEG4, iPod, all that kind of stuff. And uh, the other thing is, once you have uh, any kind of video that you have in here, you can actually go ahead and do some rudimentary editing by dragging these different um, uh, in and out points here. You can do some editing. You can you can cut pieces out or you can uh, copy and duplicate you could uh, append movies and stuff like that you can open up multiple movies copy and paste from one movie into another you could say control N and create a new movie uh, command V and paste that movie into there and you can uh, copy and paste from in between these two things so um, that's pretty much what I use it for is is that and um, there's actually quite a few other things you can do inside of this I think there's um, options for um, so basically you can do a lot of editing uh, you can set the poster frame for the the movie which means that this would be the first frame that you see stuff like that there's quite a few things you can do inside of QuickTime Player 7 uh, for rudimentary stuff, you can actually edit an entire film inside of QuickTime Player 7. But, uh, you know, for 3D artists and stuff, I think it's worth 30 bucks uh, to get that. I've looked for shareware stuff uh, that does the same thing, and uh, there's not really much out there. I think in a previous tutorial, I showed you how you can actually use Blender to do that using the um, video sequence editor. You can import a sequence of images into here and then output the... Uh, render the output as a movie as well but uh, it's not as easy to use as this method so I hope that helps you out